Hello, now there, welcome back to Grim Dawn. So last episode ended with a bit of a, a bang when a bunch of golems decided to throw meteor, or uh, actually multiple meteors on my face. And well, actually we have some of the those types of things right here. So I now know to be a bit more cautious since they hurt. And even me increasing my fire resistance is not going to compensate for the fact that they hurt. So hit, run, dodge and kill is going to be the name of this game. So I did do a little bit of uh, gear shuffling about but my budget is currently rather limited. So I'm making do with what I've got. So, I've exchanged my shoulder pads for something that has a bit more uh, fire and lightning resistance rather than just some pierce retaliation, I think, that the old one had. I had a, a low level uh, epic item, so this is actually better. Uh, my amulet, I exchanged it uh, uh, again, low level epic with not really good stats for something that has uh, a decent chunk of life regen and some vitality resistance. And I exchange a ring that, again, didn't really do a lot besides being epic for my old ring that actually gets me plus one to Panetti's, which is also pretty nice. I believe the old ring actually had some, uh, some life regen, so that just shifted to the amulet. And my pants now have molten skin on them, which gives me fire resistance and on top these have a bit more armor and some poison resistance. So. It, it's a minor bump, it, it's not something that, that's truly game-changing. But all the little bits, they, they help and eventually they're gonna stack until I'm maxed out. And this early on, you're not gonna get maxed out on your resistances. You'll just have to uh, work it till it gets better. So I've got a feeling that there's a... A wasp cave nearby somewhere. That's usually what's what's the case with these cave entrances. Also I am wandering away a little bit from what's down there. I thought this would just be a small side divergence. Or oh, diversion. So let's let's go down first and then we go back up. Because in the end, our coping foothills are a rather large area. We can do with it here. Hello there, Drew Larkin. You there! Hear dying man out, will ya? So what happens? You get backed up by his partner. Yeah. I will we'll see what the real truth is. Because I don't trust you, buddy. Okay. So, let's go down here and take some revenge on the golems that killed me last time. Or get killed again. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna end. Will I be quick enough to dodge the meteors? Or will I once again be too slow? Find out soon. So lots of shocking and sizzling going on, which is good. And something was shining over here, wasn't there? There, yeah, a rock arm. Uh, nothing in it. Too bad. Windlords. Er, why did the golems go? Well, were they just a, a random spawn then? Was the the pack I got earlier, similarly a random. But that's very possible. I mean, this is a, a new game, so you get new spawns, right? All I did was walk back to roughly the same place where we ended last time, because, well, I don't have a waypoint here yet, so I had to walk from town through the, the campment here, to here. But we did do a full clear now. So let's just walk back through Kaiman's Retreat. And then we have done a full clear of this bit as well. Ooh, 
weather chest. Some coins and a flask. And look at me, I can't get off of this porch that's like 20 centimeters high. That's something that you can easily stop a step off of. It's just a little bit arbitrary. Okay. More boxes. Ooh, yellow. Body armor. This is less armor and less resist. I don't want it. Some food though. That's good. Let's head north. So, Drew Larkin, of course, if you remember from last time, he's not the nicest of people. Also, look at this, secret area. It's nice, this shaded out uh, level design. Well, the thing is, all we have is the word of two men. Drew back there, who is obviously bleeding out and not entirely good. And we got Asaya here, who is supposedly the partner. Who in the hell are you? What do you want from me? Are you Asaya, I'm here for your partner. That swine isn't dead yet. Let me explain. This is a huge misunderstanding. So, um. Say what you have to say. Make it quick. Drew is worthless scum. This mess wasn't about the whole of scrap. A bastard tried to rape my daughter, Josephine, when we were last camped out. I confronted him and he got violent. Running out there along the road is the least he deserves for trying to overpower a young girl. Uh, the thing is though, why the hell is his daughter? Huh? Always, you know, always assume the people who proclaim to be good to be good unless you get uh, proof otherwise, but... So, but again, no, this has been nice. The thing is, I don't see his daughter anywhere. But you would expect giving his story, right? So, that that's something that, that's slightly suspicious. Also, I did see in the edge of my vision, I saw a waypoint. So, let's grab that. And at least we are uh, safe for returning here in future episodes and then let's explore a little bit more of the area because there's a lot to be explored actually and there is the portal very excellent uh, also remember there was a camp of rovers over here And getting reputation with the rovers is a good thing. Hello there, Griven. You need some assistance. Ah, yes, Elder Matthias. We have to look for Elder Matthias. He, apparently, he got himself lost. We don't use Markovian's advantage, nor do we use regular daggers. A regular ribbon, 7% health, but yeah, what we got is better. Okay. So. This one is a merchant. What do you have to offer? Would be nice if you could find a better weapon. Uh, less cold damage, but more lightning and some electrocute. This is potentially better. Would be nice if you get something with a plus one to a relevant skill. So far, that has been the tricky part here. Plus one to Trojans, but it's vitality damage, which we don't use. So, fortunately, we are not getting anything relevant here today. Hey, and another quest here for Bernard. Having trouble with bandits? Well, I can help you out there because I have trouble with bandits as well. Or rather, they have trouble with me. So, let's. So, we have a bit to explore over there and to the side. And then heading north to deal with the bandits is probably going to be uh, an adventure for next time. 
Because I remember there being a quite a bunch of undead over here. That's... Well, they simply need to be dealt with. That's always the case with, with the undead, right? They need to be dealt with. Nobody ever likes the undead. Except for, well, the undead themselves. In all fairness, undead never really make it easy to like them either. Okay, so now we traced that one. There is a passage up here. If this was a, a dead end, so let's explore it. Oh, some of Cronley's gang, they are pretty not happy. Or is this actually just leading further north? We will never know. Okay. So you can shoot me, but I can't shoot you. Oh no, your missile is not really going anywhere either. Ooh, more dynamite. That's good. I think that's my third bar of dynamite. Which you can't craft anymore, you need to find it, buy it, something. Okay, this definitely seems to lead further north, so I'm gonna back out of this area. But a third stick of dynamite is useful. Uh, once we are a couple levels higher, then the East Marsh is gonna require some dynamite and quite some cash. I think we need 8,000 scraps in addition to a stick of dynamite. And the hidden path with the elder gods that content also requires dynamite to access but basically just locking it behind some of this area's levels as well since you rarely find dynamite in act one so that is content you are meant to get back to later so that is something we will most definitely definitely do But for now, I have some better plans for my cache. There's a Maven's Lens, uh, which is a metal. Oh no, it's actually an amulet that I want to craft. And it's a level 25 amulet. And it's part of the Maven's set. And I've got the other two parts of the set, a book and a helmet. So then adding the, the amulet on top of it will give me all three parts of Maven's set. And that's going to get me plus one to all the Arcanist skills. I think this is actually going to be the first series where I, where I will have a set dedicated to a specific class completed in order to get skill points. So I think that's going to be quite good for my power level. Just getting a, a plus one to all my, uh, my skills. Including all the, the passives. So that, that's one of the reasons why I've try to put at least one point into all the the passive skills because they will all benefit from the plus one that we will get later this is not a secret area is it that's the that's the looks of it but doesn't look like i can get in let's continue killing more undead and closely bunched up undead are best undead since with Panetics we have a lot of projectiles that are gonna kill them. And bounce off of them. And do all kinds of good stuff. Hey, dust covered journal. Oh, that's on the other side. And there is a cave here that leads to that side. But I'm intrigued now. Dust covered journal. I don't quite remember it. Oh. I missed some undead. How could I have ever done that? Hey, you. Yes, you. Dust cover journal. If these crumbling stones could speak, what tales would they tell? A thousand years of history lost to the ravages of time. What wonders and horrors have these stones seen? The splendor of a shining kingdom and the corruption that brought it all down, crashing down, all told within a few bits of rock. 
All of it is lost now. Only fragments remain in the to old tombs and the forgotten places. I often wonder if King Rowan was deceived. That by abdicating his throne, he brought about the very thing he wished to flee. I also wonder how many of those last lords of, Ar of Arcovia fled to this once great fortress to escape the collapse of their empire. The great Arcovian watch guarding the southern borders. Did they hide in futile hope of being overlooked by the rampaging peasants who sought them out for their greed and arrogance? Or did they fight to the last? Were they captured and hung from the walls of their own strongholds? Or did they flee into the catacombs only to perish among the relics of the past? I sit here now and wonder what my fate will be among the ashes of the past. Will I join them, equally forgotten? Or will the bandits and horrors now stalking the world find me in this hiding place and tear me apart? Not sure it matters anymore. All the knowledge that I've gathered, all the scrolls and tomes and memoirs that I've written. None of them matter. The world is gone, lost to time as the great Arcovian Empire. We have been reduced to savages, fighting for scraps of food and blankets, like packs of wild dogs. We murder one another for a place to sleep and sacrifice our friends and family to blood cults in vain promises of safety. I always questioned whether the history of Eridon would stand the test of time as Arcovia had before us. Now I'd rather we were not remembered at all. Scribe Fagan of Burwich. So there's a neat an interesting bit of reminiscing and contrasting with the old Arcovian Empire that fell. Though the Arcovians kind of fell to you know, a combination of decadence and uh, vampirism. Uh, okay, we have a cave to explore. And here it is, well, a bit more varied. It's, it's more or less the aftermath of an apocalypse that we are now facing. But we are now in the Spined Cove. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Spined Cove. That was fun. This one had a bunch of interesting events. Uniques and things. And a devotion shrine. Let's see, there, a electrified storm shriek. Let's that just put up our ready. damage shield. I figured using the the mirror of Ereoctis earlier on in a battle when you are fully under attack is probably use, more useful than in the end when you're only facing down a single boss. Since often you take more damage early on and then later from a single foe. So, Crown of Command is nice if you're a pet build. It uh, has a pretty good bonus to pet damage. But for you as the caster, it offers you energy and offensive abilities. But uh, for our current build, it's, it's not overly great. Unfortunately. So first we deal with the things we can see. Ooh, Baros of Radlich, Lord of the Lost Souls, who actually hurts Can't do that yet. quite a bit. Ooh, and our pet came up, that's good. We are doing a rather substantial amount of damage compared to previous builds, I ready. think. We are definitely doing substantial damage, especially considering we're only level 23. Well, we just hit 23. Also, Puro Liberation. And anything else interesting? Fabric of Reality. That's giving us Energy Leech and Ether Damage. That's some chaos damage which we don't use. And Shattered Star, which gives the Trozen Sky Shard. A chance to do lightning damage on top of everything else. Okay, so I think the next couple of levels will investigate, uh, invest a little bit in 
no, we'll, we'll just level this along with the rest. Just, just keep it nice and fair. It's all gonna be good. Anarchy, which is a epic maze, from the looks of it. Piercing damage, chaos damage, chaos damage, chaos damage. Okay, let's uh, sort some things out. That way we can uh, put some other things in here. And I really, really, really would like to get another bag. Just caring about this many crafting materials really uh, pushes your carrying capacity. Okay, and there is the desecrated shrine. Oh, the Spine Cove is always uh, a nice encounter. Always enjoy my time here. It's an ambush, oh no, never saw the ghost coming. Uh, a mirror of Eriactus here. Do that yet. Just uh, so we can reduce the number of ghosts by a little bit. Ooh, yeah, some ranged ghosts. Okay. So getting a little. Uh, getting the cooldown reduction or the cooldown down on that one is gonna be very nice. Okay, let's uh, first walk the outside and then we go back to the devotion shrine. Let's just first deal with all the other events and make the devotion shrine the like the crowning achievement of this uh, of this uh, cave and probably also the yeah, place where we will end yeah. the episode. Are we gonna summon some greater ghosts by rummaging about? Not greater ghosts, but Can't do that. still a pack of lesser ghosts. Hold the noble. Also, you now see the Panetti's missiles explode into both green and purple missiles. So the green missiles are the proliferation ether missiles. They they are just pure ether damage. In addition to the purple mis uh, missiles, which are elemental and ether. But ether damage is something that that's actually rather important to this build, which is interesting since you start off with elemental damage. And you over time just add ether to it. Yep. Okay. And again, let's do a clear of the area before we trigger the shrine. That way we have a little bit of space to move about. And I got a suspicion there's gonna be a, a unique near the ruins to the side. All I have to do is just move in here and trigger it. I can't carry anymore. Or so I think. Or is it? Apparently, that's not the case. Cool. Start the event. Uh, there's three uniques here, so let's keep some that. distance. Also, put up a mirror. Do with the lesser ghosts. That mirror lasts so shortly. On the other hand, holy moly, look at just how fast we can't do mow that. through them. So offense is clearly the best defense here. And we got another a devotion point, so let's assign it. So last time we Started on the owl. Now we're gonna get 8% elemental resistance, and our skills are gonna be 5% cheaper, which is pretty cool. And next up, we are gonna increase our damage by quite a bit. But the extra resistance is very, very, very nice. Uh, let's see, 12 and 9. 
So we have uh, this one to boost a bit further to 15 before we start investing in more physique. And I'll have to do some carrying about of the of the gear, I think, since there's just too much and I do want to loot it all and sell it and use it and all that good stuff. Because, well, gear needs improving. That's uh, especially if you get attached to you know, these, these nice little things like plus one to your favorite skill. It becomes harder to upgrade that gear because you are willing to... Um, yeah, there, it's hard to get strict upgrades if you demand the plus one to that skill to be on there. Which I do for these two slots. So, with that, I'm gonna thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time once I have finished hoovering up all of these items. Bye bye.